Monkey 1000 and Shea Bear's standing beside me here hanging out. Um, so today we went to Walmart and got some stuff and we took back the ping pong thing which did not work very well. So anyways, um, we found something else that we're going to try and that is called the Tasty Microwave Popcorn Popper. So I got my popcorn here, as you can tell, and we got this little microwave popper. Um, it looks pretty simple. Um, I'm going to take this off so you can see the back a little bit better. And you guys can see and read it if you want to and see if you might want one. Its first step is fill the, the floppy silicone lid to the fill line, snack time is about to get poppin'. And then you drop it in, as it shows you in the picture, you drop the kernels into the container. So we're gonna try this out and see how it works. Oh, this feels cool. And what is this? Oh, tasty microwave popcorn popper. It's one and a half quarts. And it's dishwashing safer, safe, safer. Um, so that's nice for anybody who has a dishwasher. And it just kind of goes over just what I just showed you on the back. It just shows you the same thing and the steps on how to do it in your microwave. So we're going to do it. I'm going to rinse it out. And um, I, think, I think we should rinse it out. Oh, it's got recipes on the back. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've got a couple of recipes here for you. Which was it? I don't remember. I think it was eight ninety nine. Nine Yeah, yeah. It was like eight ninety nine. And I was told when I was going going through the register, the lady liked this, but she said they have a bigger one, but um, they were out of them. So they have one size bigger for a big, large family or something. But for me, you know, I eat this. Shaver doesn't really eat popcorn much. And um, my mom, she likes popcorn, so she wants to make it and put it in the microwave. And it's easy for her to do. So we're going to rinse this off, and I'll be back, and then we'll start. I rinsed it and washed it real good um, and made sure it's dry. You have to make sure it's really dry because I'm going to use it now. Sometimes, you know, you could have just rinsed it, washed it, whatever, put it in the dishwasher and wait for it to dry and then use it. So anyways, here's your little lid here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the popcorn and you put it up to this rim right here. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, and just put it up to that line. So it's not too hard. Hopefully. And you can put butter in here. Yeah, and you can put butter in there, which I'm gonna do um, once it starts popping. I think is you do it during, like you do the air one, or. Well, you, once you put that in there, and then you can put your butter in. All right. I gotta get this off. Let me find a knife. I'll be right back here. Um, then it says. Drop those kernels into the bottom of the popper and place the lid on top of the popper if you want. You can even add some butter to the perforated <laughs> lid. Or don't. We aren't judging. <laughs> That's what it says right there. Okay, so we're going to put it on the top here to the line. Mm -hmm. And we're going to throw it in here, just like so. Now let's see here. Um, okay, so we've done that. Drop those kernels into the bottom of the popper. Place the lid on top of the popper. If you want, you can even add some butter or the preferred perforated yeah or don't we aren't judging like Shea Bear said okay <laughs> so then after we'll put the butter in there I got this knife so we'll just use it no biggie. and we'll put some butter in here as much as you like I won't put 
too much in there because it may not melt if you put too much in there. So I'll do that. And you're going to put it in the mi microwave um, until you get it to adjust right. Try setting the microwave between 230 and 300. Uh, to, to, Two and, a half. Two and a half minutes and three minutes and listen to it pops. It may take a while for things to get popping. Now when I do um, the microwave bags for the microwave, I have to put it on 200. Two minutes. I mean, yeah. What am I saying 200? I, I don't know. I have a clue. Yeah, so it's two minutes because, um, and in my other microwave that I had that Shea Bear blew up, in my backyard um, <laughs> I used to put it on 300 on that microwave three minutes three 300 three minutes three minutes <laughs> three minutes so that's because it was only 700 watt yeah this is that's 1100 right. watt. and three three minutes did it was perfect so on this one if I do two minutes it's it's pretty perfect so I said it at two I'm gonna and a half do minutes. I'm gonna do two minutes and if it needs any more I'll add it yeah. it it, does, it says not to do that though it says to do it until you try try setting the microwave between two minutes and 30 two, I can't speak two and a now. half to three minutes yeah right yeah. Two and a half to three minutes and listen to the pop. Okay, guys, I was reading this. Um, it also says that the kernels have not started to pop within two minutes. Stop the oven. Um, discard the kernels and obtain new fresh kernels. So hopefully it'll work. I'll do two, two minutes. Two, two minutes. Uh, anyways, well, we're going to put this in and we'll see how well it works. So I do have popcorn on here, but I'm not going to use it as it you it wants you to put it in. So we'll put 2:30 here, and hopefully it won't burn it in this microwave. Ooh. That was the microwave. Because there's metal showing Yeah. There we go. We'll have to wait a few minutes and see how well it works. see it popping in there. Ah, that's pretty cool. It smells good. It smells like popcorn. Okay, so timer's gone off. 
Mm, I don't hear it popping anymore either, so that's good. Sometimes you'll hear it popping in those bags afterwards for a few minutes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to bring it out. And the handle's not too bad. It's not real hot. I can hold on to it without a mitt. It does say to use a mitt, but hey, if you don't have one, it just it did take all the butter and melted it. So we're going to bring you back to the table and I'm going to show you how. Let me get you adjusted here a little bit more. And I'm going to take it out and we're going to show you how much, um, see how much it popped and how much didn't get popped. So we'll see how that works. Okay, I'm going to bring it out a little bit. All right, there you go. So yeah, it melted it all. It's all gone. And just take this off. And it's a little hot, but not too bad on the top. I'd be careful. And there we go, just pour it in the bowl. And it popped everything. The whole thing got popped. So that's nice, really nice. And that's how much you get for, and that's good for one person, you know? Yeah, I like it a lot. I think it's cute. And it might be something easy for my mom to use, you know, to, to try. Yeah, pretty good. Anyways, it, let's see. Oh, it tastes fine. Doesn't taste burnt or anything. I was afraid of it getting burnt because, you know, time. So that's probably what I do two minutes, 2.30. He's sitting over there. So anyways, that's it for now. Um, yeah. This is pretty cool. And they do have a bigger one, so if you have a big family or something, you can get a bigger one. I don't know how much it, the bigger one was, because it is. They didn't have it there. So I don't know if they have them coming in. Obviously, they must have had them at one time because the cashier told me about them. So anyways, that concludes the uh, popcorn popper. And that's kind of nice. Um, yeah. I'll see how my mom likes it. It's a little slippery on the handle a little bit, but it could be because it's new. Um, I mean, I can hold on to it. I don't know how well she'll be able to hold on to it, but um, yeah. So we'll see how she likes it, and I'll let you know. Um, what do you think? I think it did good. Yeah. It popped every damn thing. Yeah, sure did. Sure did. Most of them won't do that. No, no, I usually have a bunch of kernels on the paw, and when you buy the bags, I have a bunch of kernels all the time in those bags, so, and they say the bags aren't really healthy for you. Show what popcorn you use in case they want to, that yeah. seems to be pretty good. Yeah, I use the Orville Redenbacher, I use the original, so that's what I used. Um, yeah, they worked good, so. Orville but, usually pops pretty good. They do. Sometimes their bags, they'll have a few kernels, but not too many. They're usually pretty good. Yeah, but that's the bag. This is... Yeah, yeah. Actually. I used to have one of those air popper ones, the yellow ones, and they work pretty good, too. Yeah, but there's some that don't pop in them, too. Yeah. So I'm surprised that popped every kernel like it did. Yeah. So, anyways, um, that's it for now. Uh, we're getting ready to... Um, we got some stuff today for Shaber for the wedding. Um, some of it we had to order. <laughs> mm. And that was a disappointment. But we, it was a mess today. So, But we decided we, we went online and hopefully everything will be here on time. <laughs> uh, $50 yeah, and $50 cheaper. So, um, and then... Uh, we have to, we, we have not gone down to register the boat. We have to do that tomorrow and I need to sometime need to find a dress for this wedding. So I need to take my mom maybe sometime in the afternoon and, and we need to go and look tomorrow because I work Friday. And um, Saturday is the parade 
and um, Sunday we're going camping <laughs> and it's cold out but it's supposed to warm up it's supposed to get back up in the 70s tomorrow and um, so it'll be warmer so we've been down in the 30s yeah and so it's been quite cold here for Florida so anyways I'm gonna say I'm out for now um, yeah I'm impressed I like it and it's cute you know looks like a coffee pot <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna say I'm out for now and uh, stay tuned we have lots more videos coming up bye y'all